Hi guys, today we're going to see how to do a 100 meter and 5 meter test on pipe flow measurement. To have a standard lab report, we have to have introduction, then theory, then apparatus, then procedure, and calculation. At last, you have to finish with the discussion. So this will give a standard lab report. It's going to be a lab report, and the question is plot log Q actual versus log H1 minus H2 for both 100 meter and all phase meter for deriving respect CD values. So by using these values, we're going to plot this graph. Okay, this is the result. So from this, we're going to do the table which is here. And the first column says HA minus HB. Then the second one says Q actual. Then the third one says Q theoretical, then CD, then HA minus HC. That means this is used to find the head loss. Now, we are going to calculate the HA minus HB. So, these values are in millimeters, so we have to convert this to the meter. Okay, now we are going to do the first calculation, that means HA minus HB. HA minus HB. Okay, so by using, this is called H1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, these are test numbers. So, HA will be for the first test, 261 minus 250. Then when we calculate this, the value comes as 11 millimeter. So now we want to convert this to meter, therefore we have to divide this by 1000. So equal 11 divided by 1000 equals 0 0.011 meter. So the HA minus HB, the first test value is 0 0.011. By using the values, we have calculated the second one, third one, fourth one, and fifth one, and sixth one. So you have to use the same procedure, that means you have to find the second one, you have to minus the 258 minus 244. So we're going to mark here. The first one is 0 0.011. Then second one is 0 0.014 meter. Then third one is 0 0.017 meter. Then fourth one, 0 0.019 meter. Then fifth one, 0 0.022. And the last one is 0 0.025. So these are the HA minus HB values. So okay, now we're going to calculate the second column Q actual. To calculate the Q actual, we have to divide volume by time. Now to find the value of Q actual, we have to divide volume by time. So Q actual equation going to be volume divided by time. So it should be always in meter cube therefore therefore here's check here it's thousand milliliters so we have to convert this to liter so it will be one liter so volume is equal to one liter divided by the time is 11.91 so therefore this is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube divided by 11.91 so the answer is going to be 8.3963 into 10 to the power minus y meter cube per second this is going to be the first test value then same like that you have to do for second one third one fourth one fifth one and sixth one now same thing we're going to do for second one that means second one is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 divided by the second value is 10.34 10.34 so when we divide this the answer will become as 9.6711 into 10 to the power minus 5 so this is going to be a second value and same thing we had to do for third fourth and fifth sixth so these are the values that mean the first one is 8.3963 into 10 to the power minus 5 then second one 9.6711 into 10 to the power minus 5 then third one 1 1.1428 into 10 to the power minus 4 1.2210 into 10 to the power minus 4 is the fourth one then 1 1.3495 into 10 to the power minus 4 then the last one is 1 1.4727 into 10 to the power minus 4 so this value we're going to put into this table so the Q actually is first one 8.3963 into 10 to the power minus 5. There's the second one, 9.6711 into 10 to the power minus 5. 
1.1428 into 10 to the power minus 4, 1.2210 into 10 to the power minus 4, then 1.3495 into 10 to the power minus 4, then the last one is 1.4727 into 10 to the power minus 4. So these are the values for Q actual. Now we have found HA minus HB values and Q actual values. So the next one is Q theoretical. To find the Q theoretical, we have to use a formula like this. Area 1 into area 2 divided by area 1 square minus area 2 square whole thing square root into 2G square root into square root H1 minus H2. So this is the formula we have to use. So please remember this formula. So by using this area formula, we're going to see here this is the area 1. That means area 1, then area 2, area 3, area 4, area 5, area 6. By using area 1 and 2, we're going to do this calculation. By using this table, okay, we're going to see area 1 equal 530.9. So area 1 equal 530.9 then area 2 equal 201.1.1 then G is equal to 9.81 then H1 is equal to 261 H2 is equal to 250 but this H1 and H2 are for test number 1. So if it is test number 2, then it will be changed to the second value, 258 minus 244 whole thing square root. So the H1 and H2 change according to the values. Okay, let me start the calculation. So A1 into A2 divided by whole thing square root A1 square minus A2 whole thing square root into 2G into h1 minus h2 so for area 1 we're going to put 530.9 into 201.1 divided by 530.9 whole thing square root minus 201.1 whole thing square root so into 2g2 into 9.81 whole thing square root into called the square root h1 minus h2 so 261 minus 250 so why when we calculate this the first value come as 2.1728 into 10 to the power minus 4 into 2 into 9.81 whole the square root come as 4.4294 into 261 minus 250 that means we got a value as 0 0.011 so to, this is in millimeters so we had converted to meters so we had divided by 1000 so whole thing square root 0 0.011 so now we have to find the final answer the final answer will be 1.009 into 10 to the power minus 4 so same procedure we have to follow for the second one third one fourth one fifth and sixth so the area will be same the G value will be same, but only the difference is H, H1 and H2 different. Okay, now I found the calculation values. So the first one going to be 1.009 into 10 to the minus 4. Then second one, 1.13875 into 10 to the minus 4. Then third, fourth, fifth, sixth, I have found it. So we're going to put the values into this table. So the Q critical, the first value is 1.009 into 10 to the power minus 4. The second one is 1.3875 into 10 to the power minus 4. Then 1.636 into 10 to the power minus 5. Then 1.327 into 10 to the power minus 4. Then 1.427 into 10 to the power minus 4. Then the last one is 1.5217 into 10 to the power minus 4. So these are the values for Q theoretical. So now the next value is going to be the CD. Okay, now we're going to see the CD values. It's very simple because the CD equation is just Q actual divided by Q theoretical. As I told earlier, we have to use 
for C find C the value of Q actual divided by Q theoretical. So we can see now Q actual for first test is equal to 8.3963 into 10 to the power minus 5 divided by 1.009 into 10 to the power minus 4. So we got to use these values 8.3963 into 10 to the power minus 5 divided by 1.009 into 10 to the power minus 4. So the answer will be nearly around 0 0.832. So this is the, for the first test, then the second test is same like that same procedure that means 9.6711 into 10 to the power minus 5 divided by 1.303875 into 10 to the power minus 4. So the actual value will become around 0 0.6790. For the third value, 0 0.911 fourth one is 0 0.920, fifth one 0 0.94 and the last one is 0 0.968. So these are the values which we got for the CD. So same thing we're going to put this into this box that means that for the first CD value is equal to 0 0.832 then 0. 6970 then 0 0.911, 0 0.920, 0 0.940, 0 0.968. So this is how we're going to do CD values. Next we're going to see HA minus HC, that means head loss, head loss for A minus head loss for C. To find the head loss for A and C, we're going to subtract HA minus HC. That means the column 1 is subtracted by column 3. Okay, now to find the HA minus HC, we want to subtract these values. So we're going to do that part. That means first one is 261 minus 257. 261 minus 257. So the value is 4. If you directly enter this value into this part, this is completely wrong because this is in millimeter, so we have to convert this to meter. So the answer is 0 0.004. Same like that, this is for test number 1, then test number 2 is 0 0.004. Because here, 258 minus 244, so when you separate it, it's 4. So 4 divided by 1000 is 0 0.004. Same thing for third one is 0 0.007, then fourth one is 0 0.008, fifth one is 0 0.001, sorry it's wrong, 0 0.01, then sixth one is 0 0.01 because 239 minus 229, the value is 10, so 10 divided by 1000, so that's how we got 0 0.01. So again we got to put this values into this table that means the first one is 0 0.004, 0 0.004, 0 0.007, 0 0.008, 0 0.01, 0 0.01. So we have completed the table. So for your think. So these are the values we got for venture meter that table. So the HA minus HB, then Q actual, Q theoretical, then CD, then HA minus HE. So in our question, they are, have asked, plot log Q actual, yeah, log Q actual versus log H1 minus H2 for both venture meter and orifice for driving respectively CD values. So if they are asked just directly, Plot Q actual versus HA minus HB means we don't need to cover about the log. But in this question they ask, ask log Q actual versus log H1 minus H2. So there is an equation for this. So I am going to teach about it. Okay. Now we are going to see what is the equation for log Q actual. So this is going to be the equation that means log Q actual is equal to half log HA minus HB plus log whole thing 
bracket CD into area of A into whole thing square root inside that 2G that means 2 into 9.81 divided by area of A divided by area of B whole thing square minus 1. So this is the equation for log Q actual. By using this equation, now we're going to calculate the log Q actual for each test. That means test number one, test number one, test number two, three, up to six. So in here, for half log HA minus HB, for HA minus HB, we can substitute this value 0 0.011 for first test. Then plus log whole thing bracket is CD. For CD value, we can put this 0 0.832 then into area of A. Area of A we have to put 530.9 divided by 10 to the power 6 minus 6 and area of B same thing like that this area of B we have to put then whole thing square minus 1 so everything should be in meter or meter cube or meter square something like that so if it, if it is in millimeters so just convert it to meter when we calculate the first for first test is come as like this half log bracket 0 0.11 that means the value we have got here for HA minus HB is 0 0.011 so with that value the, the next is plus log 0 0.832 the value for CD is 0 0.832 into 5.309 into 10 to the power minus 4 that means it's in meters square then whole thing square root 2 into 9.81 the g value is 9.81 then divide by 5.309 into 10 to the power minus 4 divide by 2.011 into 10 to the power minus 4 when we divide that the then that value we have to square it then we had minus by 1 so the value we got is minus 3.5917 so for half log 0 0.11 value is got as minus 0 0.479 so at last the final answer for the test number one is minus 4.0107 so this is the final answer for test 1 so same thing we are going to do for test 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 so after finishing the log Q actual we have to do log H1 minus H2 so we have to do log H1 minus H2 is equal to log 0 0.0011 as I showed earlier HA minus HB is 0 0.011 so we have to put this value into log H1 minus H2 values so the final answer has come as 1.9584 test number 1 so same procedures we have to follow for test number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 now once we complete everything we have to plot the graph like this when should meter this side it should be in y axis it should be log h1 minus h2 then x axis should be log q actual so this should be a best fit graph that means like this similar to this graph we have to draw okay guys in the next couple of videos we're going to see the orifice meter calculations so i hope this will be very helpful for you okay thank you please subscribe and like our page